God, just thank you so much for your blessings. Blessing me to put me in a role like this. This is far greater than anything I could ask for, God. Just thank you for Devin and the woman that she is, Lord. You've just blessed me so much, Lord. I'm just so thankful for that. I just pray, above all, Lord, we'll just remember the covenant that we make before you, Lord. Um, and we'll just, we'll just push each other daily, Lord, to love you more and be imitators of Christ, Lord. We ask that you give us the strength to do that daily, to love each other daily, and Lord, again, to see you so much just for how good you are to me, God. I just love you. In your name I pray. Amen. There Sam was. He was on the sidewalk at Oklahoma State University. He's nervous as he's ever been before in his life. He was going to ask Devin out in person. His original plan was to take you out to eat Mexican food, which any of you guys that know Devin know that she hates Mexican food. And so luckily, I think one of the bridesmaids intervened and said, Sam, don't do that. Go eat a steak. Afterwards, they went rollerblading and had a great time. And Devin remembers he smelt really good that, that afternoon. God, I just thank you um, for this day and for who you are and um, just for bringing us all here to this place and um, gathering us up from all different places. And I thank you for Devin and for Sam and um, just not only for today, but um, for all the days that will come. Um, just for your blessing on their life um, and all the people that they will touch with um, just their hearts and their souls and I just thank you for who they are and for who you are. I Samuel take you Devin. To be my wife. To be my wife. Before God who brought us together. Before God who brought us together. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To cherish you. To cherish you. To serve you. To serve you. And lead you. And lead you. Through joys and sorrow. Through joys and sorrow. Through the pressures of the present. Through the pressures of the present. And the uncertainties of the future. And the uncertainties of the future. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. I promise to grow with you into the likeness of Christ. I promise to grow with you into the likeness of Christ. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. I never thought from the time that you sent me a Facebook message saying you're about to ask a girl out and you're scared out of your pants that would end up like this. Devin, you truly are an example of a godly woman. Y'all truly are the, probably one of the most prime examples of a godly relationship and a godly couple. I remember the night of their first date. Devin was so giddy and so excited about this. I don't think she'll admit it, but I think she knew from the get-go that this could be the real deal. Sam, you've made Devin the happiest girl in the world. I'm so happy for you too, and I can't wait to see how God blesses your marriage. I love you guys. By the power invested in me by the state of Oklahoma, and as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Sam, you may kiss your bride. It is not an accident that that first date started on the sidewalk on the beautiful campus of Oklahoma State. We are not here today by accident. The very idea and thought of marriage comes from God. They both believe that marriage is something greater than themselves, and marriage is God's idea, and He is the one who brings them together today. Dear Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this afternoon. This is an incredible day. It is a, a, truly a, a day of celebration. And Father, we pray that this time gives honor to You, as we rightfully do You. And Father, just pray that they have an incredible marriage with one another, Father. We love you, and in your son's name we pray. Amen.